Sup Chooms, how y'all living? Hope everything is nothing, you're all having a preem week. Well, as usual, my plans for the next video were once again disrupted by outside events. In this case, it was by a community post from Rob England, who is now claiming that to task right in tablet form is utterly worthless. Now, I guess I should be grateful to Rob here, because at least he's not talking about scalp massages anymore, but this kind of misinformation is also very dangerous. So seriously, I'm not going to joke around in this video, because this is a very serious topic. Topic, and what Rob is doing right now is going to send the hair loss community into an absolute panic if it is left unchallenged for too long. Honestly, I'm actually surprised at Rob here because his post is very unscientific and I think he knows better than this. It's also hard to avoid the impression that he has a major conflict of interest here because he is attacking telehealth companies, but at the same time, he has now aligned himself with a telehealth company. This is funny because I remember Rob used to always say that we should prioritize education over product purchases on his website, so I guess he he still believes that, but just so long as the education he provides is the type of education that convinces you to buy his product specifically. But I don't want to jump the gun here. Let me first go over Rob's post. Here it is. So, I'll go ahead and link his post below, but to give a quick summary of what he says, Rob claims that many men report losing ground when switching from finasteride to dutasteride. He says the reason is because many telehealth companies are selling ineffective versions of dutasteride. He correctly states that studies show that oral dutasteride is more effective than oral finasteride for regrowing hair, but then he says that many men who make this switch find that dutasteride destroyed their hair. He says that Reddit writes off these men as delusional or fear-mongering, but the truth is, is that many times when men make the switch, they will experience a treatment shed due to the fact that dutasteride is a much stronger 5-air inhibitor than finasteride. And because of this, they will often panic and then assume that dutasteride isn't working. And oftentimes because of this, people will stop dutasteride before it has a chance to actually work. This is the simplest and most rational explanation as to why most people think their hair got worse on dutasteride. However, Rob has a different explanation. He claims it's the formulation of dutasteride that's sold by telehealth companies and compounding pharmacies that's the real problem. Specifically, he thinks it's dutasteride that's sold in tablet form instead of the gel form that's ineffective. He claims that these telehealth companies sell dutasteride in tablet form so it can be combined with other ingredients like minoxidil or biotin or vitamin D3. So, the vast majority of men taking dutasteride take the standard soft gel capsule form. Rob makes his big claim about tablet dutasteride, but he gives no evidence that the people complaining that dutasteride doesn't work were actually taking dutasteride in tablet form. In fact, he doesn't even even consider the possibility that most people complaining that dutasteride is not working are probably actually taking dutasteride soft gel capsules which are much more readily available than tablets which are a newer and more obscure version of the drug. But Rob apparently thinks that all these people complaining about dutasteride destroying their hair are taking the tablets instead of the soft gels, so let's go ahead and continue. So, to provide evidence, Rob next mentions a post by someone on Hair Loss Talk claiming that he had shedding from dutasteride due to a pharmacy formulation error. He doesn't actually link that post, nor does he say what the pharmacy formulation error actually was or how it's in any way related to his theory that dutasteride in tablet form doesn't work in general, but he then claims that he did ask someone in a well-regarded compounding pharmacy about it, and he was surprised to hear back from them that powdered dutasteride works because their customers report that it works. So, not satisfied with this, Rob decided to do his own research like a crunchy mom. So, he went ahead and did an experiment with a male participant. Maybe it was Rob himself. Anyways, he gave the volunteer one 0.5 milligrams of powdered dutasteride and checked his serum DHT levels before and after. He expected to see an 80 to 90 percent drop in his serum DHT levels with this, but was shocked that the DHT only dropped by 13.6 percent. So, Rob concludes from this experiment on just one person that all the men reporting that switching from finasteride to dutasteride destroyed their hair aren't delusional or just panicking about a treatment shed. He jumps to the conclusion instead that they're all taking dutasteride in a tablet form and that these tablets are all totally ineffective. He says this is all because of the evil telehealth companies who don't know what they're doing and they're all selling worthless versions of dutasteride tablets. Rob concludes by saying, quote, For what it's worth, this is just one of the dozens of problems we're seeing in the telehealth hair care space. Very soon, we'll be dropping a video about two other big problems. Stay tuned. Unquote. Rob is not an amateur, he's a medical editor, and he knows damn well that his study of just one person would never be accepted into a medical journal, not even the lowest tier journals like Medical Hypotheses. You can't under any circumstances conclude anything from a study with just one person. For all we know, he was an outlier that doesn't metabolize dutasteride normally. 
It's rare, but there are some people with genetic abnormalities which interferes with their ability to properly metabolize deuteresteride, and I actually cover this in a video which I'll link below. And even in the cases where people have this specific genetic abnormality, deuteresteride absolutely will still work. It will never, under any circumstances, make hair loss worse. That is not possible in the slightest. It's like claiming taking steroids will make someone weaker. This fatal flaw with Rob's study could have been easily addressed by redoing the experiment with the volunteer, but this time having him take 1.5 milligrams of dutasteride in soft gel form in order to see if he suppresses DHT more with that, but Rob couldn't be bothered with that. This is all complete nonsense, Jones. In fact, Rob was so sloppy with his conclusions here that he doesn't even realize that the early experiments with dutasteride that Rob actually quotes did not even use the gel cap form. The study by Elsie Olson that he quotes used doses of dutasteride as low as 0.05 milligrams, so there's no way a standard 0.5 milligram gel cap capsule was used in that study, yet the dose at that level still worked. Also, the pharmacokinetic study Rob quotes from also used a non-gel cap form of dutasteride. It used dutasteride powder dissolved in a solution of water, polyethylene glycol, and tween 80. It did not use a lipid solution that Rob claims is essential, and yet this form of dutasteride lowered serum DHT levels by 80-90% to 90 just like the soft gel version. Not only that, Rob doesn't even mention that there already is a study looking at the bioavailability of dutasteride tablets versus gel capsules. The study compared a soft gel capsule with a hard capsule in a tablet. The study found that the gel capsule had a superior bioavailability over the other preparations. The tablet had a bioavailability of 76% of the gel capsule. So. You can probably argue that dutasteride in tablet form may be slightly less bioavailable than dutasteride in gel capsule form, but it doesn't really matter in the slightest because dutasteride is not all that dose dependent. It wouldn't make the tablets less effective to nearly the degree that Rob is claiming here. We know this because even just 0.1 milligrams per day of dutasteride is as effective or even more effective than finasteride at 1 milligram per day, which is already a very effective drug. So that means that even if the 0.5 milligram dose in tablet form was was only 20% bioavailable compared to the soft gel cap form, it would still give a result similar to finasteride at 1 milligram per day, and it absolutely under no circumstances would destroy your hair. It also wouldn't change the amount of DHT suppression from 80% to 13%. Also, like I mentioned before, Rob is pushing a new telehealth company that he is affiliated with called Ulo. Ulo is selling dutasteride at $49 per month, so this telehealth company is directly competing with the telehealth companies that Rob is now criticizing, which is a clear conflict of interest. So, all Rob is trying to do here is denigrate competing telehealth companies and push his own telehealth company for the sake of profit. Like I said before, despite my issues with Rob England, I'm actually surprised he would stoop this low, but apparently he now has. Okay, chums, so I thought I should get a video out as soon as I heard about this junk science post on Rob's channel, and if you still want to switch to gel capsules, since it is slightly better absorbed than the tablets, that's fine, but under no circumstances should you ever think that taking a tablet version of Dutasteride is ineffective. It will still absolutely work very well, and it will be much more powerful than even Finasteride at 1 milligram per day. It's just complete nonsense to think that these tablets are completely ineffective like Rob is claiming here, and it is even more ridiculous to think that every Everyone who's claiming that they're losing ground on dutasteride is using the tablet version of the drug rather than the soft gels, even though the soft gels are much more widely available. Rob, if you're watching this video, please be more responsible with your content in the future. You are an influential figure in the hair loss community, and you're not helping anyone by making dutasteride users panic like this. Thank you and God bless.